My name is Ron Sitar. I am born in the Philippines, but I've been here since 1980. I own 757 Crave um, and also the Big Whiskey Porch and the BB64 Cafe at Nauticus. I went around for six months before I opened up my first spot um, in Virginia Beach, tried everybody's breakfast, and I saw what everybody was serving. So we took what everybody was serving and just tweaked it. You know, this was like right before Food Network was like coming out, so we started putting a weird twist on everything, and people were like, "Well, wow, that's like I normally get, but more." So let's put the extra in the ordinary, basically. And I was a latchkey kid, and I always loved food, so that's how I used to cook for my sisters. And we got tired of spaghetti out of the jar, so we would mix up different things to get, you know, different flavors and. Um, I don't know, and then did a little bit of catering for the church whenever there was events, and they said, you should open up a restaurant. And I was like, okay. <laughs> it was just that silly. It was just blind faith and figured that seems pretty easy. It's been 12 years, and it's definitely not easy, but especially now with the pandemic, but you get flexible. So, Yeah, we've got a lot of new cool things. Um, we do have the new... Um, um, big whiskey porch down at Nauticus. We're having fun with that. Looking forward to another season coming this April. But I guess the most excited thing I, I am, the most things I'm excited about is we have a brand new team. Like I said, it's been 12 years, but we have really put together a really good crew. Um, I've got Carrie Branch as our general manager, and she is my counter. Uh, I am the creative idea guy. She's the one that puts it and makes it reality and um, she's put together a really good team that are really accountable to each other and to what we're trying to get done and it's pretty exciting to see them gel together and just literally do it better than I could have ever done it by myself. I mean we do beignets, we sell a lot of beignets. Everybody loves our beignets and we do it um, a little bit different than the way they do it down south but we put our own spin on everything. So we take regular food and just kind of put our own signature on it. Um, things that you would traditionally find like southern style comfort foods. Things that give you a big warm hug. Um, like our fish and grits, that's something that people love. Our shrimp and grits, I put that up against anybody. Even those folks in Charleston, bring it. But um, literally, there's a touch and flavor of a lot of that down home cooking down south. So I don't know, I never really went to, to make it out to be a Cajun spot. And it, I wouldn't say it's Cajun, but there's definitely Cajun influence. Because I mean, that's a really big part of the country of just bold flavors. And that's really what makes you crave really good food is the flavors, the, the things that linger. And, um, but you can go through the menu and now that you bring that up, I really think we do have a lot of Cajun stuff. <laughs> or Cajun in, you know, infused stuff. Um, I've fallen in love with the people in Norfolk. I, I consider Norfolk to be my hometown. And before I, people would ask me where you're from, I'd say Virginia Beach. But when people ask me if I'm out of the area, where are you from? I am proud to say Norfolk because there is like a, it's a different vibe. I live in Ghent. I, my businesses are downtown, and there's so many types of people, and it kind of complements the type of food that we do. We have a little bit of everything for everybody. I mean, there's literally, you can, it's a one-stop shop. If you're craving something, you'll find it on the menu. And then you'll find other things, and you'll have to work your way through it. But I think that's why we feel so connected to Norfolk, is because it kind of is an extension of, I guess, how the food developed. It, it literally is inclusive, and um, it's neat to be able to serve people and see the different varieties of folks in here.